Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all feeling strong and well. Now in this vlog, we are gonna be talking about the Loom Cube 2, professional lighting for on and off camera. So it's a wet and misty one today. It's very misty out over Rutland Water. That's where we are today, Rutland Water. Really nice walk around here. I'm not gonna go all the way around. It's about 20, 20 some miles. It would take me all day to walk around here, but I'm gonna take you around part of it, hoping that it clears up a little bit get a little bit more scenic. But what we are talking about, of course, is the Loom Cube 2. I'm gonna do a few tests. Now, you might be thinking, why, why have you brought us out in daylight, Rob, to test the light? Well, the least you would expect of a fantastic device like the Loom Cube 2, and it is fantastic, uh, is that it, it performs really well in darkness. And it does. Uh, it lights up the whole place when you put it on full power. In fact, it lights up the whole world. You can hardly look at it when it's on full power. It has 10 increments of power. And when it's on the full 100%, it really is bright. So it works great at nighttime. What I'm wanting to find out today is how well it works as a fill light. Well, it's just stopped raining and it's not gonna be stopped for long. The rain is just about here all day today, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. Well, yeah, let's just get on with it before it starts raining again. <laughs> so what is a fill light? What is a fill light? My understanding of a fill light is the same concept for photography as it is for video. And uh, when you've got plenty of light around you, everywhere is filled with light except the subject, and in this case, that would be me. Uh, we need a fill light to fill that area that isn't filled with light. So it kind of makes sense. And uh, so you need a powerful light to combat the light behind, just to throw some light into your face so that you're not in silhouette or not in complete silhouette. So that's what we're gonna be testing for today. So that's really what a fill light is. That's my understanding of a fill light. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, comment section below. Now we are using the GoPro Hero 9 today, the fantastic new GoPro Hero 9. So I should be able to see uh, a little bit of my results in the forward facing screen, fantastic forward facing screen. So that should help with this test as well. But the real proof will be seeing it on a computer or on your tablet. So uh, you let me know how the light does. Using a camera like the GoPro Hero 9, any of the GoPros, they do suffer in low light. Even on a, a gloomy day like today, you can get to situations where a fill light would be really handy. Now we haven't used the uh, Loom Cube 2 yet. The Loom Cube 2 is on the camera, but not switched on. It's on top of the GoPro Hero 9. And for those of you that want to know about the GoPro Hero 9 in this vlog and my settings, they are simply 1080p, 24 frames per second. And for audio, we have the GoPro Hero 9 media mod connected external microphone, which is the Rode Wireless Go. We've got that here and it's performing well in the wet. So this is by no means a full review of the light, but I will be going through some of the features and the specs of it as I do the tests. Now the Loom Cube 2 has been balanced to daylight, which I think is 56,000 Kelvin. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's what uh, the daylight setting is. Uh, so, but it has been balanced to daylight basically. I'm just guessing with the 56 Kelvin, but I think that is uh, the uh, Kelvin setting for daylight. It's been balanced to daylight basically. Why can't you just say that Rob? Yeah, it's been balanced to daylight. And it's also got a fantastic wide angle beam. It's an 80 degree beam and that gives a really pleasing light as it falls upon my old face. <laughs> So we're still not using the light. When are we gonna to get to use it? We will be, we will be using it. This is a situation when it might be handy when we've got light behind us and uh, we're in and out of the trees. The Loom Cube can also be used as a flash for your camera for photography, of course, uh, because it has a light sensor on top and that enables this great feature. So yeah, it can be used as a flash. Great, great feature. And as you can see also, the Loom Cube 2 has a totally ruggedized aluminium body and it's completely waterproof. So it's just about the only light you'll need. It goes really well with the waterproof setup of the GoPro Hero 9. So let's start to use the light. This is maybe a good situation when we would need it. We are backlit and uh, I'm in slight silhouette. So yeah, let's start to use the light because uh, that is why we're here, right? Yes, at last we're gonna start using the light. <laughs> but you thought it was never gonna happen. I'm gonna try and stay on topic as well in this vlog. Those of you who like me going off topic, 
we will be doing that again in, in future vlogs, I'm sure. But we're keeping on, I've gone off topic, yeah. Okay, back to the Loom Cube 2. The Loom Cube 2 has 10 increments of power. And uh, so we'll call number one 10% and we'll call number 10 100%. And we're gonna test that right now. So we have no light on right now. Uh, let's just hold that button down. I believe it's that one. That's it. So that's number one. That's 10%. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And that is really bright. And uh, you can see the camera is obviously, the GoPro Hero 9 is obviously adjusting to the bright light shining at me right now. But uh, that is really bright. It's way too bright actually for this, uh, for this setting. I think I would probably lower it down to uh, 50%. That's 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. And that's fine. That's absolutely perfect. That's filling my face. I can see this obviously on the fantastic GoPro Hero 9. I can just about make out uh, on that little screen, forward facing screen, I can just about make out uh, what the light is doing. But you can really see it. So uh, please let me know how it's done, what you think of it uh, or any advice on how to use it as a fill light. Um, let me know what you think in the comment section below. So let's see what it would look like off. I'll go straight from 50% to off and give you an idea of how it's performing here. I'm holding the camera at arm's length. We have got um, horizon leveling on and we're on linear. That's on the GoPro Hero 9. So we're gonna turn it off. Now that's the light off. So the light is off. The Loom Cube 2 is off right now. And I'm walking through this little woodland area because it's going to vary in light. So just to get a good idea of how it's performing, without the light on. And I'm going to turn around and we're going to go back with the light on. Just have a little room around this little woodland area. Uh, so let's turn the light on and it'll be on obviously 10% when it comes on. Okay, it's on now 10%. And I would set it at 50, 20, 30, 40, 50. That's 50%. And uh, you can see, let's just turn the same way as I was walking before, and you can see how well it's performing now. So I think it's doing a really good job. What do you think? Now let me, uh, let me tell you how advanced this light is. It actually has its own app. You can download the app to your mobile phone, of course, and uh, you can control it. Uh, you can control all the settings and there's some other features that you can control within the app. So it's really advanced. So we're still on 50% power. Now this light also has a secret low light mode for photographers who like to take advantage of long exposures. So it's a really advanced light. And like I say, it's got its own app. So let's bump it up to 100% now and uh, have another walk around these little woods and see if that makes any difference. Of course, the camera, the GoPro Hero 9, will be adjusting all the time. So. Uh, Bear that in mind. So let's bump it up to 100. We're at 50 now, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. That's 100 there. Let's have a walk around. Now, on 50% power, this light will last for two and a half hours, and that's great. And on full power, which we're on now, 100%, how's it lighting my face up? I think it's doing a great job. On 100% power, I nearly tripped up there. On 100% power, it will apparently last for a full hour, which is great because let me tell you, I've had some expensive LED lights in the past and they've been great, but the battery life was terrible. So you could hardly use them uh, once you got it bumped up to a decent amount of power to actually use as the fill light. Um, they just went dead very quickly. So I'm hoping this might be the last light that I buy. We're still on 100% by the way, we're 100% power. Talking about buying this light, it's not a cheap light. It's gonna cost you about 75 quid. Quid, that's English money, sterling. So let's go back down to 50%, which I think is the, the preferred setting. So let's go back down, 100, 90, 80, 70, 60, 50. I think that'll be fine for most situations. And like I say, in the darkness, when you're in actual nighttime, uh, just 
10%, 10%, just the first number one setting is ample. It really fills your face, especially just for vlogging like this. It really does do a good job. I'm so glad that you are with me. Otherwise, I would be all by myself. The light is still on. We're out of the woodland area now, a little bit more wide open, a little bit more light knocking about. But the light is still on 50%, so it should still be helping out. And with the fantastic battery life, I don't have to worry about switching it on and off. So the Loom Cube 2 has a quarter 20 thread underneath it and that enables you to attach it directly to a tripod of course. And uh, in this case I've attached the cold shoe mount and it's on top of the fantastic GoPro Hero 9 Media Mod. Now the sun is trying to come out, we did get a bit of, a bit of blue sky over there, can you see it? But uh, the rain is on its way back, the sun is trying over there. Now one of the uh, welcome features on the Loom Cube 2 that wasn't on the first Loom Cube is that we are recharging on USB-C. So now this whole system that I am using, the GoPro Hero 9 and the Ulanzi power handle and the Loom Cube, the Wireless Go, the Rode Wireless Go, they all charge up using USB-C. So that is fantastic. I only need a couple of cables and uh, I can recharge everything up. So we've got the Loom Cube 2 on 100% right now. We're in some trees here. You can see the trees up above there. And it's a good little test for it because we have got light behind. Let me show you with the light off, this scenario with the light off, see what difference it would make. You can see it better than me. Actually, I'm looking at the forward facing screen on the GoPro Hero 9. So let's turn it off. That's the light off. And actually, that is a big difference. So the light is really working in this situation. And that's what I was really looking for, uh, was I can really see that in the forward facing screen of GoPro Hero 9. And I'm sure you can see it on your screen. So yeah, it was really filling my face with light. So let's turn it back on. That's 10%, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 100. So that's a lot better. It needs 100% by the looks of it for this situation. If I turn, things change because the light is coming off the water, the water there just under the trees. So the Loom Cube 2 comes with uh, diffuser gels, two diffuser gels when you buy it. One is a warming sort of orange one and the other is a white and I am using the white. I always use the white. There's four little powerful magnets and they click on really satisfyingly click on there nice and strong it won't be coming off so that's really good design so let's let's see what it looks like with the diffuser gel off and just the naked light like i said the strong magnets so that's it oh that's it got it so i'll hold it over that's that's the diffuser gel on can hardly see anything because I've been looking into the light. When it's on 100%, which it is, it's very bright. And that's no diffuser. Diffuser, 100%. No diffuser, 100%. So massive difference. I can actually see that as well. So that's interesting. So yeah, that was interesting. I've got the diffuser gel here, the little white diffuser gel connects on there with magnets and I've got it on 100% here with no diffuser gel on obviously and uh, I'm interested to see what that looks like. I'm actually surprised when I tried it under there when I took the diffuser gel off how powerful it is without and how well it still works. I thought it would be uh, a little bit too harsh. Uh, it probably is harsh but using it in daylight uh, it seems to work. So what does this shot look like with 100% no diffuser gel? Let's put the diffuser gel on See if you can see a difference. That's the diffuser gel on. Let's take it off. That's the diffuser gel off. And let's turn the light off, see if you can notice a difference. That's the light off. So I'll be interested to see what results are there. So we're back to where we started. That's Normanton Church there. A little tiny church that is actually used for weddings. Great little venue. It's a great time, of course, to buy a light with the days getting shorter. We don't get much daylight now in the UK. So make sure you make the most of the daylight and get out for a walk. So we've got the rain back now, but that's worked out fine because I'm just about rounding up this vlog. I think I'm going to make good use out of the Loom Cube 2. It's on 100% by the way, in the darker evenings and you will be seeing me using it. So I think it's a great little light. What do you think of it? 
put your comments in the comments section below. I'm interested to know what you thought about this test. So that is it for this one and Rutland Water. We did get some views in the end. I'm glad you joined me or I'll be all by myself. So we've seen the Loom Cube 2 lighting up my old face. I hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Give me your thoughts in the comments section below. I upload vlogs every month. I don't know where I will be next, but I know I want you guys with me. So if I don't see you through the month, I will see you in the next one. Bye.